Well, hello there, narrow gaugers. It's been a long day here at Laughlin Junction, but I think I finally got this figured out. Um, so, as you remember before, you had to push the button and hold the button for the uh, switch to throw. Well, I finally figured it out uh, using the contacts in the switch machine and a couple of relays. So now, push the button for station. It starts up. Then it throws, it completes a throw and shuts itself off. Um, and then you do the same thing for the other direction. So, and it's also set up so that uh let's see we're lining ourselves for the hill and uh if i push this button it doesn't do anything which is a good fail safe so that uh you don't get in the middle of a throw and say like, oh no i want to go the other way and then try to line it back so why this is a triumph for me is that doing electrical work you know contacts and all this stuff this is always really freaked me out i love signals i love signaling i love all this stuff but actually figuring out the logic and figure out how this stuff works has always been a little bit beyond my grasp but today having a completely uninterrupted day and the ability to um just look at what i have here with the help of uh some diagrams and circuit schematics I think I figured this out so basically what we have here uh, to begin with we have two um, two power sources so I have the uh, the battery charger here this is putting out uh, 10 volts and down here is the state-of-the-art Chinese power supply which is putting out well I've got it turned up to 26 but this here is the power for the motor and this is the power for uh, the uh, the control circuitry and the, uh, the the signal lights so how I basically did this was using these two um, DN11 relays when you'd hit the push button it would pick up one of the re it would pick up let's say this relay um, and pick it up and then when it does we'd have a hold open circuit that would basically run from here over to a contact in the switch machine then come back and so that when you push that button it would then pick this relay up and that contact would stay energized until the switch machine gets all the way to the end of its travel and then it drops out. And at that point it drops this relay out which shuts the power off. Uh, and that does the same thing on the other side. Now the motor needs power uh, fed to it uh, you know, in the, in the opposite polarity to go the other way. So you know, we have positive negative, positive negative. I just flipped them over here on this side. So the power goes over uh, in the opposite polarity. I also set it up so that you notice with the push button, if you push the one button, you start the sequence. You push the other button, it doesn't do anything. That's because I run that push button power through the opposite relay so that it's normally closed. So let's say I want to hit the push button for this relay but this one here is already picked up and, and, and turning the motor, well, it disconnects the ability for this one to energize, and vice versa. So, uh, basically, you know, it's all in my head. There's no schematics I worked off of. Just basically playing around with the, uh, with the components I had uh, and puzzling it out. But I think this is a, this is prob I probably have rediscovered the wheel and rediscovered the way that you're supposed to do this, but in my own way, since I can't make heads or tails of most of those wiring diagrams, so I just have to kind of puzzle it out in my head. So from here, 
um, to get the signals to work, I have to connect this to the uh, points. So basically I'm gonna move this number two rod down here and tie that in to this here so that these middle contacts here, which are your signal contacts, uh, will work. And then when that's done, it'll probably be another day of fiddling around with this to get the um, dwarf signal and the high signals and the other dwarf signal to work properly. Uh, at, the, at the very least, I don't know if you noticed it before, but, you know, at least shows red. <laughs> but, um, yeah, getting, getting that part done is going to take a little bit more work, so... Um, so basically, that's what we have here today on the J&L narrow gauge. Um, and uh, now it's time to uh, clean up the mess here, tidy things up, and head home for the evening. And tomorrow, start all over again, getting things ready for this weekend's operating session. All right, take care, everyone.